Hi friends, today I am uh, going to discuss a little bit about uh, small vessel vasculitis. Uh, these are some small vessel vasculitis. Uh, they, are, they also affect uh, medium sized vessels also. Uh, coming to microscopic uh, polyangitis. Uh, this uh, microscopic polyangitis is also called a hypersensitivity vasculitis or microscopic polyarthritis. Uh, we have these three main small vessel vas vasculitis. The differentiating features between these three are in microscopic polyangitis, uh, it is commonly associated with P anchor, anti neutrophil cytoplasmic antibody. In, in this microscopic polyangitis, there will be no granulomas, no asthma, and no eosinophilia. Lungs are affected in microscopic polyangitis, but there will be no asthma and eosinophilia, no granulomas. In Wegener granulomatosis, uh, this is associated with C. anca. Uh, in almost uh, 90% up to 90% of patients with Wegener granulomatosis are associated with C. anca. In this, as the name suggests, granulomatosis, granulomas are present, but there will be no asthma and no eosinophilia. Coming to Chag Strauss syndrome, uh, up to 70% of these patients are associated with P. anca. This is also called allergic granulomatosis and angiitis. Uh, it has a strong association with granulomas, asthma and eosinophilia. In this pulmonary in the in this Chagstra syndrome, pulmonary and splenic veins and peripheral nerves are frequently involved with intra and extravascular granuloma, granulomas and eosinophilic infiltration. That's it. These are some uh, differentiating features between these uh, small vessel vasculitis. As I already said, uh, these affect uh, medium sized uh, vessels also. Thank you and please subscribe if you like the video.